In this video, we're going to look at net area versus total area under the curve. And remember, area under the curve is kind of a misnomer. It's the area trapped between the curve and the x-axis. So as you can see from this diagram, area can be either above the x-axis or below the x-axis. Let's remind ourselves that when we do area above the x-axis, that's positive area, and below would be negative area. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's do net area first. Well, net area means that you don't need to worry about positive or negative. It'll all wash out in the end. So let's go ahead and just integrate straight forward from 0 to 3. And our function is x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x dx. Very important that you remember on the AP exam to write out everything the way you're going to, to integrate it, and you need to include the uh, parentheses and the dx, otherwise AP will bust you. So if we go ahead and integrate that, we get x to the fourth over 4 minus 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 from 0 to 3. Well, so plugging in the 3, we would get 81 over 4 minus 4 times 27 over 3 plus 3 times 9 over 2. Well, so let's go ahead and simplify that a little bit. We've got, uh, we still have 81 fourths. Now, I could cross-cancel the 27 and the 3, making a 9. So now I've got minus 36. And then 3 times 9 would be 27 halves. Now, AP uh, will not bust you for not reducing. Uh, if we do want to reduce further, we would make a common denominator of 4. And we would get 81 over 4 minus 144 over 4 plus 54 over 4, which would give us negative 39 over 4. Now notice our answer in this case is negative, and the reason that that's negative is because the area under the curve is significantly larger than the area above x-axis. Let's go and this time do total area. Now, total area, we do need to take care of positive versus negative. So we're going to need to split this up into two integrals. Our first integral is going to be from 0 to 1. Our second integral is going to be from 1 to 3. And for total area, we are going to need this second area to be positive. So let's go ahead and start with the setup. We would have from 0 to 1. Uh, of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x dx plus, now that second area is clearly negative, so we're going to have to do the absolute value of 1 to 3 of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x dx. So that's our setup. So now if we go ahead and integrate, we get uh, x to the fourth over 4 minus 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 from 0 to 1. If we plug in the 1, we would get 1 fourth minus 4 thirds plus 3 halves minus 0. Gotta love it when the bell rings. So if we make a common denominator and add this up, that would give us 5 twelfths for the smaller area. If we go ahead and integrate on this side, we get x to the fourth over 4 minus 4x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 from 1 to 3. Well, if we plug in our 3, we get 81 fourths minus 4 times 27 over 3 plus 27 over 2 minus uh, our 1 fourth minus our 4 thirds plus our 3 halves. 
So combining all this together, uh, we're going to get uh, negative 9 fourths minus a 5 twelfths, which would give us negative 8 thirds. And we're going to take the absolute value of that. And we're going to, so that would give us an answer out of 8 thirds. Now we need to take our two fractions and combine them. So we get 5 twelfths plus 8 thirds, which gives us 37 over 12. And that would be our total area.